back to the show. I hope that you are learning today. We are so blessed. We are so honored to have the man of God, Pastor Will Buffos with Yoka, a worship leader, the founder of Throne Room Experience, Experience which we will be talking about <laughs> later yeah. in the show. The gospel industry in this country. Industry. Industry. I think uh, they call it industry because it involves production. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> There's a lot of production, production of music videos and all that. Lakini nafikiri wengi walikuja wakaichukua vingine. Yeah. So ikakuwa labda the market ina ina demand too much. Ina demand labda uondoe ondoe vitu kadhaa. Yeah ndio fit kwa market so wanajaribu ku fit yeah. the needs of the market yes not yes the need the hearts yeah. and the bible says live what you are calling hiyo mm-hmm. ndio kitu inafaa ku guide kaa sawa na wito wako mm-hmm. now music uh, when i came to the market mm-hmm. ama the industry mm-hmm. ama now uh, yeah the industry let yeah. me call it the industry Uh, kuna vitu vingi uh, nilipata maybe you, you, you must do this and this and, uh, maybe some people will tell you if, if, if so and so doesn't uh, endorse you you, you you are nowhere you will not be on top kama wao ndio walikuita if you don't do a collaboration with so and so maybe uh, ama na tafuta collaboration na huyu huyu utaingia vizuri sana utaingia haraka you see but kitu moja mimi nilichukua nili kwa uzito ni wakati ni sauti ya Mungu that's why i told you mtu wako angushwa na sauti ya kwanza aliangushwa na sauti ya pili maana ya pili ili involve knock whoever wants to get into the ministry of music should ni lazima yeye mwenyewe moyo wake ukubali kwamba ukubali wito kwanza it's number one. na akuwa ameokoka because you, <laughs> gospel is about christ if you don't know christ hata kama unaimba unaimba kama experience ya, ya vile umesikia ama una ni ile unaitaka utoozi unachukua kitu mahali pengine unaileta hapa ndio ikae ukae ni kama ni wauku na si wauku hiyo ndio shida tumekuwa nayo there are people hata ukiwauliza unaendaga wapi church uwezi wa pastor they can tell you yeah, they don't have they don't have na ndio maana unaonaga uh, sometimes unaweza jiuliza pastor wake akiangalia hiyo nyimbo tuseme because kuna vitu zingine hata wewe utaangalia useme najua nikifanya hivyo my pastor atanipigia tu huwezi mm. <laughs> ukakaa hii dunia bila kuogopa mtu yeyote and unasema tu Mungu majimoto that, that is not that is heresy you have to submit to a grace authority and also some to grace mm. kuna mtu wako na neema fulani na unajua hata kama hata kupea hiyo neema utapata vile hiyo neema utunzo mm. utapata umeelewa vile neema ya namna hii utunzwa mm. kiasi kwamba hata siku moja uipate utaitunza because kupata kitu is not a big deal <laughs> you can have it mm-hmm. but now the process ya kuhifadhi ndio kazi mm-hmm. na wengine hawana hiyo capacity mm-hmm. kwa sababu awako and authority mm-hmm. nobody they fear hakuna mtu ambaye anaweza waambia kitu mm-hmm. na wengine hata 
ile kitu inawasababisha wasiwe na wasikae under authority ni sauti tu just voice kutoa hii note kupandisha kwenda kwa hii note ile kitu naweza muambia ako chini sana hizi nyimbo tunaimba hii sauti tuko nayo kama wauduma inaweza tupeleka mahali ambapo mali me to expose we need an authority to speak on our behalf we need a covering yani ukue chini ya mamlaka fulani ambayo inakusababisha kukaa hapo comfortably badala ya kupatia yule ambaye anastahili tunafanya wimbo kwa sababu ya maybe uh, a tv station unakuwa sasa umeanza kusave TV mm-hmm. sio watu but sing about Christ mm-hmm. sing about his message mm-hmm. the other thing elimisha watu mm-hmm. kemea watu mm-hmm. uwezi ukamaliza mambo yote ambayo biblia ilianzisha biblia imejaa kutia moyo biblia imejaa uh, 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 habari za mbingu biblia ime, the kingdom matters mm-hmm. biblia imejaa everything mm-hmm. but now dwelling on a grant kama nimekosana na mtu mm. niamue kuimba mambo ya, ya vile wewe adui yangu utakiona na hakuna mtu hana adui of course mm. mimi niliambiwa na mtu fulani mm. uh, angalia hiyo topic pia huwa inafanya vizuri mimi nikasema hata kama inafanya vizuri mimi nataka sauti ya Mungu I want the message of the Lord because that is important. Hiyo mm-hmm. ndio kitu ambacho kimepoteza watu wengi. Uh, when you come to uh, where we are now. That's why nime nime nimekuambia nimeita praise and worship leaders. Instead of kukaa pale because most of those people who have capacity and ability to sing well mm-hmm. and they are full of The, the word of god maana ukiimba kwa madhabahu lazima uwe umeenda through the word of god you are coming to lead a service most of them wako na kitu kizuri lakini mahali walisimama walisimama saa zote kusema hapa ana hiyo angalia huyu anaimba kitu gani hata ana sauti huyu na yeye ana sauti anaimba tu wako na message lakini ana sauti na tumebaki hapo yeah. We are doing nothing about it. Na we can sing. Church tunaimba. Failure nyingi inayosababisha uh, media stations to play anything because <laughs> that is what is available. Uh, sasa mnataka tucheze nini na hiyo ndio iko available. So watu wanaama wanaenda kucheza nyimbo za South Africa because tuko na vocalist mzuri Muluya na anaweza akarange nyimbo ya Kiluya ikakuwa na nguvu ya kukalia international platform but amesimama kwa nafasi ya ku criticize mimi hata sisikiliza nyimbo za kiluya siwezi nikasikiliza that is the problem we have here and i'm telling you the truth revival ya hii nchi yetu ya Kenya i talk in south africa i talk in tanzania hata tukiita watu kutoka wapi itatoka hapa Aha. hapa. Kuna neema wakati Mungu ameinua mtu katikati yenu. Mm-hmm. Unaona wow. Mm-hmm. And then people feel I. So this is the treasure we have. Mm-hmm. Imepigiwa na watu watu wengi wako ngambo. People tona mimi sikuwa nasikiliza nyimbo za kikamba. Mimi nilikuwa nasikia and now they are listening. Yeah. Na mimi si hawaitaka kujifanya. Watu wanaweza wazungu waimbe kizungu kwa ile neema nimepewa ya kikamba kikamba. Mm-hmm. Wacha nimtumikie Mungu na kikamba kikamba. Mm-hmm. Because if we will revive our people our generation mm-hmm. we must be true to ourselves. Mm-hmm. Nasikia na kuja, watu wanakuja studio yeah. naambia hebu imba ni gani? Oh you are mighty you are powerful for some naambia ni sawa lakini na pia hii itafuta hiyo ticket yeah all that matters yeah <laughs> you <laughs> know 
Ndio kuna. Hii ni nzuri lakini tafuta hiyo ticket. Yeah. You can't just sing for nobody. Yeah. You sing with a target audience in your mind. Yeah. There are people that God has called you for. Mm-hmm. Reach them. Make sure you know mm-hmm. uh, wanaongeaji. Mimi sasa hii najuaga kikamba ya kitui. Yeah. Najuaga kikamba ya makueni ya machakos. Mm-hmm. Sometimes naendaga nyumbani na naongea mama ananiambia unaongea kama mtu wa kitu naambia sasa yeah. mama nitafanyaje <laughs> na nimeitiwa wao wakamba wote yeah, yeah. na kuna neno hapa kwetu makueni mm. haina shida mm. so you must grow yourself and learn ile kitu naweza waambia watu wa, wa, wa especially praise and worship leaders mm. is this that they are those especially wale ambao tumeitwa kuna vitu fulani ambavyo hatujaviwekea sawa mm-hmm. na tunazidi na tutazidi kulaumu mm-hmm. because sisi hapa Kenya uh, there is this our brother called uh, Malanga mm-hmm. alikuja hapa akachukua mwamba mwamba mm-hmm. hakaenda akaona atuitumii sisi unajua hizi vitu za hapa lo, they are local <laughs> unajua vile tunaongeaga mm-hmm. mwamba mwamba don't sing mwamba mwamba here yeah. 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 Little. Yeah. 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 kitu tumeimba tukiwa watu wadogo. Mm. So church tunaamua ukiimba mwamba 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 watu wanasema leo ametuimbisha nyimbo za Sunday school. Yet kuna watu nje wanaona potential katika kila kitu tunafanya ambayo hatujaifanyia kazi. Mm-hmm. Na wao wakitoa nyimbo sisi tunaziimba. Lakini sisi hapa tukitoa hawawezi wakaenda. Have a very good song inaitwa nene bro. You know that nene bro. Yeah, I know. That song is powerful. Yeah. It is very powerful. Na imbanga nasikia amekua. Eh. Yeah. So lakini hii watana nayo. Watana hii 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 bado. Acha tutafute ingine ya look for a nigerian one yeah, you know you, i think it's you who said uh tukiimba nara nara it is something else na tukiimba uh, uh, vernacular it is being tribal yeah yeah we are tribal hmm. yeah. lakini nara nara that one no hiyo hiyo iko sawa hiyo ni aroni yeah. and until we change our mindset mm. ah, kuna vitu hatutawaifikia kama wale ambao kama taifa la Kenya mm-hmm. especially here in Kenya mm-hmm. because eh, in Tanzania waliamka wakaimba uwagire 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 mwanawake na huku tunaanza sasa kuimba you see there is <laughs> something wrong wanarudisha tunaichukua tena eh, we have a problem especially people don't want to consume ile kitu tuna ni kujifanya si eti ni nini ni kujifanya mm. kwamba kuoverlook let me use the word overlooking mm-hmm. because we may have potential here in Kenya mm-hmm. and if we really need revival as wale watu wa praise and worship let us arrange good aluya song ipatie a film ya international one ikuwe katika unaweza imba international mm-hmm iskike tunaweza icheza international mm-hmm. and let me tell you something kuna wamama wako huko kuna wazee wako huko nyumbani kuna watu ambao ambao umewafikia wana, wana iyo neno kuna neno ambao iko na uzito ikiingia mm-hmm. inawaingia na uzito kuliko wa kizungu mm-hmm. that is where especially us praise and worship leaders mm-hmm. tumekosea mm-hmm because tunaanza fanya mazoezi mm-hmm. four hours mm-hmm. nyimbo ya kizungu mm-hmm. mpaka tupate maneno mahali tunayatamkia but mm-hmm. atuwezi tukachukua one hour kufanya nyimbo ya Kiswahili nyimbo ya Kiduruma nyimbo ya Kijaluo mm-hmm. tuimbe mm-hmm. isikike mm-hmm. na tu make ndio lazima iimbe almost every month mm-hmm. in this church mm-hmm. we grow our home siku ambayo watu wa Mungu wataamka waseme tumechoka na vitu uh, uh, na, na kuovaluk vitu vya kwetu vile tumezaa utasikiaji kama wewe ndo unapinga mtoto wako umemzaa mm. it is not good mm. and that is the problem we are having mm. 
we i i know our mistake mm-hmm. kama waimbaji wengi wetu we have not arranged it in a way kwamba it a fit level zote maana mm-hmm. i don't know eh inawezekanaje niliona nyimbo moja na naambiaga Mungu siku moja utanipa tu nyimbo ya kikamba na itazidi kitu nilisikia inaitwa Jerusalemu that thing hata wabunge walikuwa wanaimba watu hapa wanaimba haikuwa imagine haikuwa kizungu <laughs> yeah. so i am very sure language is not a barrier there is another barrier and if as a church we want we must lazima tuondoe hiyo barrier kwa sababu saa hii go and ask praise and worship leaders not not even leaders eh praise and worship team mm. wakipelekewa nyimbo inakaa kama aina kizungu ndani for them uh, i think tumeanza kurudisha hii praise and worship team mm. kuimba lugha ingine ambayo sio lugha ya kizungu imekaa ni kama kurudisha huduma chini ama kurudisha we must overcome that thing because let me tell you something kuna watu huku Africa there are people in Africa people in Kenya people in Tanzania ambao wali walimtumikia shetani na wakipagawa hawawezi mm. wakaongea kizungu wale watu hawajui kizungu mm. ni kumwambia pena vina na you know yani yeye ataelewa hiyo na hata ukimuongelesha maana ni yeye ni mtu na amepagawa na akili zake zimepagawa na hawezi akaelewa kizungu mm-hmm. mpaka umuongeleshe hiyo lugha ya mama afunguke so kuna watu hao hatutawahi wafikia until we overcome and we take away that barrier how do you understand the area of your calling how do you understand also your positioning of your calling number one, it is the grace that operates in your life mm-hmm kwa sababu Mungu kuequip kulingana na ile neema amekupatia. Uh, I'm very sure sio kila mtu ambaye anaweza akaimba wimbo wa kikamba u sound vile ni kiimba una sound. That is true. So ukielewa uh, area yako ya wito ni neema ile Mungu amewekeza katika maisha yako number two, it is mali amekutuma mm-hmm. <laughs> because eh unaweza peleka hiyo kitu kama jona mahali mm-hmm. pengine mm-hmm. lakini sio pale umetumwa mm-hmm. inabidi Mungu akuridirect akupeleke mahali pengine hautawahi mm-hmm. ngangana kufanya sawa na mahali umeitwa no na kile umeitiwa mm-hmm. number one. number two, hautawahi ngangana kwa sababu ume, ukienda mahali unaitwa kuna watu ni kweli ameitwa wito huko lakini mahali ameupeleka sio pale bwana amekusudia uwe <laughs> ni kama mimi ni amwe mimi naimbaga kiswahili ndio yeah. salama tumbimba na my wife <laughs> was a was a prophetic song yeah. actually tuliimba na ye, wakati tunachumbiana oh wow no ye, iliingia na hiyo really? neema <laughs> <laughs> yeah. mali mungu amekuita very important mm-hmm. na the the grace that operates in your life mm-hmm. kuna mtu tu akitamuka neno tu uh, ya Kiswahili unasikia hiyo kitu mm-hmm. unasikia akihubiri na kizungu ni kama au mpati akini akiongea Kiswahili unaielewa kabisa never overlook hizo vitu kwa sababu ni synchronous kwamba this is the direction the other thing is the voice of god lazima umsikilize Mungu kila mara maana eh, god wants you to grow he, he is not growing <laughs> it is you who is growing so listen to him for you to grow uh, and for for directions Uh, like uh, I, I told you I began as a as a recording artist or a minister but at some point uh, Mungu akaanza kunipatia directions zingine nikawa 
saa hii lazima niende at least na mtu wangu wa keyboard mm-hmm. niende with a team hata mm-hmm. e, kama nimeitwa nimezoea sasa mm-hmm. si si kwamba siwezi nikasimama tu e, niimbe tu nyimbo ile kuna kama unoka mm-hmm. and then after that niende tu yeah. Th- that is not my joy nitasikia kuna vitu vimebaki ndani mm-hmm. so nataka niende at least a half time mm-hmm. to worship life sing the same same songs life mm-hmm. yeah that is how we are doing because it's a direction now mm-hmm. from there we are working on mungu aliniongelesha akaniambia wakati ni nianza ni, kufanya through mm-hmm. mm-hmm. mungu aliniongelesha akaniambia uh, create a room to enthrone me so wakati nasema throne room Eh, ni, ni, ni mahali ambapo una ni ninaamini kwamba tunakusanyika na watu tunapata nafasi mm-hmm. ya kumwenzi Mungu mm-hmm. you get my point yani to enthrone him in our lives in our business in every area we enthrone him mm-hmm. so that's why by the grace of god nilisikia hiyo direction ya kufanya throne room experience mm-hmm. meetings na tumefanya the first one mm-hmm. uh, time ya covid mm-hmm. tulifanya time ya covid and god was so faithful mm-hmm. i'm telling you god was very faithful time hiyo ya covid watu wako na queue queue sana mm-hmm. ya yeah. ah, nimejua neno moja people want to worship him mm-hmm. i wish kama praise and worship leaders wange wange nisikia mm-hmm. we don't want a kenya where ni muimbaje mmoja tu ndio anajulikana mm-hmm. ni ni huyu mwimbaji mm-hmm. unapata u, ukienda hapa una hesabu wa kuhesabu mm-hmm. saa hii nimeangalia nikaona in Tanzania mm-hmm. waimbaji ni wengi sana especially wale ni ministers wale wanafanya uh, mikutano ya ibada mm-hmm. ni wengi mm-hmm. ni wengi sana mm-hmm. actually ni wengi kuliko hapa Kenya na wale wengine ambao maybe hapa Kenya tunafanya Uh, tunafanya na to record mm-hmm. so i'm i'm hugging to mm-hmm. them let us do it and record it mm-hmm. and keep it out there mm-hmm. and um, who knows mm-hmm. mungu anataka kuvitumia vitu hivyo mm-hmm. kwa ajili ya uvuvio ambao unakuja really. mm-hmm. yeah and uh, as we wind up i would just like you to say a word of prayer to kama mtu ambaye anataka kupatiana maisha yake someone mm. who is going through something yeah. someone who just needs this jesus right yeah. now just say a word for them i want us to pray and just know that uh, yesu aliwekwa msalabani akafa na akafufuka kwa ajili ya maisha yetu unapompatia bwana maisha yako kuna faida nyingi so tunapokuombea uh, aya maombi ndio baadaye ni niombe kwa ajili ya wale ambao wako na mahitaji bwana anatusaidia sema maombi haya nyuma yangu bwana yesu nimekupenda nimekuja mbele yako kwa sababu mimi ni mwenye ni mwenye dhambi futa jina langu kutoka katika kitabu cha hukumu niondolee dhambi juu ya maisha yangu niondolee laana kwa sababu umefanyika laana ili niwe mbarikiwa kuanzia leo na yakabidi maisha yangu kwako nitakase kwa damu ya Yesu ni asante ninakukiri wewe kwa kuwa bwana na mokozi wa maisha yangu naamini na moyo wangu wote kwamba wewe Kristo ndiye uliyekufa kwa ajili ya maisha yangu ili nipate uzima na upokea usima wa milele kwa kukiri maneno haya katika jina la Yesu naomba na kuamini amen wacha nikuombe baba katika jina la Yesu na kushukuru kwa sababu ya mtazamaji ambaye ametutazama kipindi hiki chote neema yako imekuwa hapa nasi na naituma katika nyumba yake naituma kwa ile hoteli naituma kwa ile jamii katika jina la Yesu wapo watu wamepitia vitu wakavipa majina mikosi ninaviondoa kwa jina la Yesu aliye hai naomba saa hii neema ya Mungu iwe juu ya maisha yako natangaza nguvu za Mungu ziingie katika familia hii 
kila mawazo yote yanayokuja kufaradhanisha familia hii na yaondoa kwa mamlaka ya Bwana natangaza kibali kama kuna mwimbaji ambaye amekuama katika huduma ninamfungua kwa mamlaka ya Bwana na naombea praise and worship leaders wherever they are i pray for grace of god the power and anointing i pray for new dimensions and levels in the name of jesus christ i activate the power that is within them to manifest in the name of jesus for the word of god says that the world is waiting for the manifestation of sons of god i declare them to manifest in every area of their life in churches in the name of jesus wherever they are watching us i pray for the praise and worship leaders let them be engines of revival in the name of jesus i declare in the mighty name of jesus that pride will never rule them in the name of jesus it is well with them well with whatever they will do let them prosper let your grace be upon them and their children in jesus name i pray amen amen, amen. asante sana thank you so much thank, thank you so much. much that was so fun <laughs> <laughs> yes thank you so much for tuning in my name is lucy mwendwa and there is something that i have taken home today Okoka emotions. <laughs> <laughs> so until next time, God bless you.